Hello guys, this is Siddharth Saratkar and welcome back to your own channel, Explore Electronics. And today we are going to deal with another transducer that is commonly known as thermistors. So without wasting much of your and my time, let's begin with the topic. So on stating the definition of thermistor in an easy way, we can say it is a thermal resistor. So the name indicates that it is a device whose resistance changes with the change of the temperature or according to the definition we can say that thermistors are thermally sensitive resistors whose prime function is to exhibit a large predictable and precise change in electrical resistance when subjected to a corresponding change in body temperature. Now there is a small point which I think you should note it down that negative thermal coefficient thermistors exhibit a decrease in electrical resistance when subjected to an increase in body temperature. And the vice versa happens when positive temperature coefficient thermistors exhibit an increase in electrical resistance when subjected to an increase in body temperature. So I hope you got those two points which I have stated. Now let us discuss few properties of thermistors. So number one, as discussed earlier, they have negative thermal coefficient which means resistance of the thermistors decrease with increase in temperature. Number two, they are made up of semiconductor materials. Number three, they are made sensitive than RTD that is resistance thermometer detector and thermocouples. Number four, their resistance lie between 0.5 ohm to 0.75 ohm and number five, is they are generally used in applications when measurement range of temperature is from minus 60 degrees celsius to 15 degrees celsius and after stating all these properties there is no doubt why it is so famous so let's talk about the construction of a thermistor so it is generally composed of mixture of metallic oxides such as manganese nickel cobalt copper etc Further, smaller thermistors are in the form of beads of diameter from 0.15 mm to 0.15 mm. It may also be used in form of disc and washers made by pressing thermistors material under high pressure into flat cylindrical shapes with diameters from 3 mm to 25 mm. To govern this relationship, a small formula is given that is R1 is equals to R2 exponential bracket beta bracket 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2 where R1 is the resistance of thermistor at absolute temperature T1 R2 is the resistance of thermistor at a particular temperature T2 beta is a constant which depends on the material of transducer and from the equation stated we can say that the relation between the temperature and resistance is highly non-linear and its graph between resistance and temperature will look like this. Now there are some applications mentioned for the thermistor. So as we know it is used for the measurement of temperature as change of temperature produces a large change in their resistance. So they can be used for the temperature compensation in any circuit. For example in any simple circuit a simple carbon resistor is connected which has a positive thermal coefficient. So if resistance of a carbon resistor is to be made unaffected by the temperature, so a thermistor having same negative thermal coefficient is to be connected in series with it. And this will do the work required for the particular apparatus. So guys that's all for this video. I hope you all have learned something new and if your answer is yes then hit the like button because your one like helps me a lot to work more for you all and uh, if you have any suggestions then please feel free to use the comment section below and do subscribe for more content stay connected to this and i'll meet you in the next video and do check the description below uh, my brothers and sisters are doing some awesome work if you haven't visited the channel then do visit the channel that's all for today guys thank you and meet you in the next video bye bye